In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can recreate the popular tilt and shift lens effect without spending hundreds of pounds on a very expensive specialist lens. Firstly, the most important thing is to choose the picture that will work well with this particular type of effect. What you're aiming to achieve is to get a picture that you're looking down on a busy street with lots of people, cars, houses, etc. But this particular example is a photograph from my holiday in Croatia a couple of years ago. And as you can see, it has exactly what we want. We're looking down at a nice angle down a street, lots and lots of people walking around, lots of buildings, lots of interest and detail. So the first thing we need to do is simply duplicate the background layer. We can do that by holding the control and pressing the J. That's duplicated our background layer. Let's turn off the background layer. Now we need to go and make sure that we've got our foreground and background colour set to black for foreground, white for background. Choose the gradient tool. Ensure we've got the reflected gradient as our particular type of gradient and that we're using foreground and background as our type of gradient. Next thing, ensure layer 1, our duplicated layer is actually selected. Go and click and create a new layer mask. Click on the layer mask just to ensure that's the selected layer and then holding the shift key down find the focal point within your image in this particular instance in the bottom third of our picture where most of the people are standing hold the shift key down drag to create our gradient and as you can see that cuts a hole where we're going to actually apply the blur effect to the image at this point we can switch back on our background layer and everything looks back to normal the next step is to ensure that we have our duplicate layer actually selected and not the mask layer. Then go to the filter menu, choose blue, lens blue, and that'll bring the lens blue dialog box up. Now there's a couple of settings we need to ensure that we've got within this. The depth map, we've got to ensure that the selected source is the layer mask that we just created. Blue focal distance we can leave at zero. We'll leave the iris at the hexagon uh, shape. Obviously you can change an experiment to see what you think. We're going to ensure that the radius, the blade curvature and rotation is set to fairly low values. Most importantly, the brightness and the threshold. Set your brightness to a very low value, set your threshold to a high value. Again, you can experiment to find an effect you may find works better with your images, but these are the settings that I'm using. Noise we're going to leave to zero because we don't want to introduce any noise into the image. So other than that, we can click OK. And that effectively is our tilt and shift effect. You may find it's worthwhile to actually crop into your image, but if we sort of zoom in and take a look, we now look like we've got lots of little miniature people walking around a toy set. So hopefully you can see how quick and easy you can create this tilt and shift effect without spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a specialist lens. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and we'd love to see you on the WZ2K forums. Until next time, take care.